Well, guys, winter is here, and, well, we've got some new toys on the farm. We've got a lot of work to do, guys. Let's get to work. Bitter batter. Clutch simulations. All right, guys, welcome back to County Line. We're just finishing up the first year. We actually paid a ton of money. Well, not a ton. We made some good money last yesterday on those silage bales. We made about two hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. Now we've pumped that back into our farm. Two new pieces of equipment, which didn't cost us too too much. Um, first of all, well, you're looking at this thing vibrate all over the place here. Look at this blade. <laughs> it doesn't get much cheaper than this, I don't think. But uh, this blade is only like eight hundred bucks. But we've got a Kubota. We've got a Kubota. This thing is awesome, actually. I like this little tractor. Uh, it's the smaller of the two in this pack. This is the L3901, as you can well, plainly see there. 3901 Kubota. Not bad. It's got a front-end loader. It's a four-wheel drive model. There is This comes in a two-wheel drive variant as well. This is the four-wheel drive one. Because, well, what we're going to be using it for around our farm, we're going to need it in a four-wheel drive version, of course. So that's going to be giving us a hand in some of the tighter places around our farm. Now, over here... This is gonna eventually do dual purpose for us, but for the winter, the Workstar International. We got a big blade on the front of this. Now this is just gonna be for our farm for now. Uh, we need to clean off, wow, the snow out of our parking lot. Everything's sliding around right now, so I just got this thing brought up here. Pretty, uh, pretty nice looking rig. Pretty nice looking plow. So one thing I did want to do, I want to get all those silage bales that we had. I need to get that kind of plowed out so we have some access to that area. Uh, let me get us over there. We'll take the, the International for one, and we're just going to kind of make our way over there. Because, uh, well, it's a little... It's a little bit snowy on the way there. It's not bad, but it's snowy enough. We might as well start clearing while we're on our way. Let's, uh, plow it this way for now. And we'll come back over to the main farm here and clean this parking lot off afterwards. But this is not a bad... Whoa. That laid up a little bit higher. A little too low. Not a bad way of moving snow. Look at this thing go. Oh, yeah, so good. Just push it off to the right here, and we'll come back and fix all of this later on. But uh, I just want to make a path down here. We'll get the Kubota down towards where all these bales are, and that way we can fix them up ourselves in a second. Oh, there we go. Look at that. <laughs> Love it. Such a good plow. This is so much easier than what we were doing last winter. So, let's see here. I was already over here just making sure we could get in. You can see digging out the bales. Now, we made, like I said, decent money off the bales last, uh, on a sale there yesterday. So, you know what? To survive the winter, I want to be taking all these bales over there eventually. So, I just got to make sure that I leave this road kind of clear so we can get in here. So, I'm just going to kind of wrap around over here. And, uh, where should I pile this snow now? Yikes. Uh, maybe over by that telephone pole. That might be a good spot for us to put some snow. So we'll just kind of straighten the blade out here and push the snow right in there. Perfect. Alright guys, so that is the first pass. I'm going to go circle this back in and around. That blade can be circled back in. It's going to be... I'm not going to worry about this road here that we're on. I want to get back to where we came from is where I really want to clear off and get a road all the way out there. Um, we're going to have to clear all the way down to the main highways here as well today. But I just wanted to kind of get this here done and get that Kubota in the field. Because that is... Uh... Oh, there we go. Perfect. Look at this. That's kind of one of the things I need to take care of, though. I want to kind of clean that area off just so we can get our tractor and trailers in there to load those bales up. <laughs> I love it. Look at this thing go. So good. All right, let's go grab that Kubota. We should be good to go. So the blade on this Kubota, it's, well, it's not great. Look at this. I mean, it's barely connected on here. <laughs> but it does do a good job with plowing. So we're going to plow some snow out of our way. Uh, let's jump on inside here. And from here, we should be able to just drop her down. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to do that. Uh, we need to try select that. Spin it off to the right. And just as a quick test, let's make sure this is all working properly, which I'm sure it is. See, it just does not have the big uh, the swath that uh, that truck obviously has. Oh, man, it just doesn't want to turn. Come on. There we go. Gotta find the right height, apparently. But, oh man, yeah, not nearly the uh, the push that the other that truck will give us. Huh, interesting. Actually, am I, am I tilted it sideways? 
Can I do that? I didn't think I could do that. Oh, I see what I'm doing here. Okay, we need to bring this down and this up. So it's like that. And that should give us what we're doing. There we go. That looks better. So you got to make sure you got that blade nice and flat. If you angle it down too much, it won't work. But you can go a lot faster with some of these other blades than... Uh-oh. Getting all over the place here with uh, that Hauer blade. Or Hauer, Hauer? Was it Hauer blade? Anyways. But it does build up. His blade cannot hold nearly as much. I mean, look how small it is. So this is not really meant for what we're doing with it right now. I just wanted to test this out. So let's lift this thing up. We'll get it out of the way for now. I just wanted to get in between all those hit those bales we got sitting in here, the silage bales. And uh, this little tractor is kind of fun to drive. So, um, you know what? Let's bounce right into the field here. In, in, in. Spin this around the other way. Uh, I need to go over there. There we go. You got to be able to select the tool, that's all. Now, not the best system. I don't really like the way it's hooked up to this. But I can't get anything else to really hook up to this, this swing arm or this loading arm. Unfortunately, this tractor does not have an option to have a, uh, a front three-point connection hitch. So it does limit us a little bit. So you do need to use some kind of an arm in order to do this. And that's kind of a pain. All right, let's see if I can get right in close here. And then we'll just kind of angle all the snow away on this side of it. And this will be our loading side. There we go. Perfect. Nice and easy now. Let's get some snow out of our way. Uh, can I angle it anymore? I don't know if I can. Uh, nope, that's as far as she wants to go. So I have to live with that. Perfect. Alright, let's go get this cleaned off. We have more lights? We do too. You know, it's 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock in the morning, and look, like there's just no sunlight still. <laughs> that's pretty accurate. That's not bad. Let's push this all out of the way. If I can get this right out to the road, that would be ideal. we got to slow down if we want to do that. You see, I'm speeding up there. It's all kind of sneaking underneath otherwise. I really don't want that to happen. All the way down to our road, and then I kind of push it over to the corner. Should be working the best. Get up there. Get on up. Perfect. There we go. We'll get our truck to fit, finish that off later on. That's just kind of plowed in the way. Uh, I'm going to do one more pass going back. And that should save us a little bit of grief, hopefully, when we want to pick all these up. At least that's what I'm thinking. Come on. Rub on. There it goes. Nice. There we go. Um, building up a little bit more than I was before. It's starting to sneak over to the left a little bit, but it's not bad. We're still getting the job done as much as we can with this little Kubota. This little tiny blade we got on the front. <laughs> not bad, guys. That works. I'll take it. All right, I'm going to do that uh, to our next little bale, bale pile right here as well. Just so we have access to all these bales. We only have one more run there. As long as I can get in here with that, that uh, auto load trailer so that we can pick all of these up, hopefully, over the course of the next day or two. That will be uh, kind of key. So there we go. We got actually not bad access into here now. We got, uh, well, not dry ground, but we got grass ground underneath of us. Not bad. This is good, working out fairly well considering the uh, the size of the blade on this thing. I was worried if it would, I was worried it wasn't going to work out as well as you would think. And it's not bad. It's not great. It's not bad. You can see here, everything is kind of getting plowed out of the way. Um, it's doing what it needs to do. And that's, that's awesome. Now guys, I have updated the uh, mods on my mod site, so if you are looking for any of the mods I'm using, I try to keep that list updated, so if you're looking for them, go take a look there, clutchsimulations.com, that'll give you a link to my mod my mod list, the link is in the description of course, and I try to keep everything updated on there as best as I can uh, for the mods that I at least can give out, there's some that are private of course, but uh, the ones that I can give out, most of them are there already, I'll try to make sure this Kubota and everything else, links to that one are linked there as well. So you guys can get these and mess around. They're pretty fun little tractors to play with. But not bad. Some of the snow stuff that's coming out now, that's going to be a lot of fun to play with. Awesome. All right, so that should give us enough access in here. Uh, we should be able to get our trucks in here. Now, I need to clean this out. Like, this is not quite what I wanted to have right in here. Can I move this snow out of the way? Get it all up over here. Like that pile. Um, this is the only spot I'm kind of having grief with, so you can't quite do a loop in here. Let's see if I can move some of the snow. Oh, get out of here. Up we go. Just got to kind of pile it up right over there. It's a bit of a pain. 
I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it down to, down to grass in here. I might need to bring the truck through at once just to kind of push this snow out of the way. Uh, you know what? It's not bad. We might be able to get a truck through here. I don't know. Uh, one thing we can do, we can quickly just do this. And maybe that'll be enough to, to push everything off to the right this time instead. Let's see if I can just get rid of a little bit more of this. Uh, is that going to be flat? No, it's not. Bring that up. That's as far as it goes. There we go. That's better. Alright, let's see if we can just kind of push this stuff off to the right. Come on, grab down nice and low. There we go. That's actually not bad. Lots of access now. We should be good, guys. That's not bad. Not bad at all. I missed one bale. One bale kind of got stuck back there. I didn't even see it until it was too late. But we have access. We're going to use this Kubota to push some snow around our farm. Uh, a little later on, probably, just to kind of clean up around the house and the, uh, the barns and such. Get into the tighter spaces. But over here, I think we're good now. We have access to all those bales. They're not quite ready yet, I don't think. I haven't have to double check, but I think we'll have to wait another day. Tomorrow we'll probably uh, pack those up. But for now, we're just going to leave them. We'll let them go for one more day. We're good for cash, at least for another day or two. And then uh, hopefully when it's winter's over, we still have some money left in the bank account. I'm not planning on buying anything else, at least for now. We'll see. We may buy a bigger blade, but let's just get this put back for now. Um, one last thing we still need to take care of, guys. I want to get out to uh, the main roads here. Let's plow those off with... Oh, I'll put this up over top. Boom, boom. Get into the barn over here. Um, I want to go take a look at that field for one last time just to see where its status is. Uh, let's drop that down. And we'll head out to the uh, that one that one field that kind of broke on us. We'll see what's going on over there. Man, we almost need ridge markers on the roads when we're plowing. <laughs> Could this thing just go? Now, I have found if you go too fast, you end up uh, making a buck. you got to take her a little bit easy. So just kind of quickly truck along and you should be okay. But if you go too, too quick, that's when you're going to run into some problems. So just take her uh, somewhat easy, you know, 20 miles an hour. And uh, it does a pretty good job. Oh, we're getting close to the road here. And this is kind of cool too. Let's fire those up. Look at, the, look at the beacons. Tell me that doesn't look good. Fantastic job. This truck is awesome. Really like this truck. Oh, we're getting some deep snow down in the valley here, it looks like. Kind of plowing some stuff higher, a little bit deeper down there. And uh, we'll get out onto the road here. Uh, now, what I wanted to look at was, well, right across, there it is. That wheat field is still there. It is still probably growing. Uh, let's see. All right. Uh, anybody coming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just plow this over here. And we'll see. Oh, I put some on the road. Sorry, guys. Get that up. And let's just go up to the top here. We'll find a parking spot. I want to look at this field. So this field, guys, in case you didn't catch uh, in one of our earlier episodes, this field here was owned by us and uh, we planted wheat on it but for some reason the wheat did not take well it did take it looks like it took at least um yeah still growing like yeah it's not growing this is dead come on <laughs> uh it's still at 67 percent there's nothing we can do with this it is toast so i don't know what i'm gonna do i need to reset this and I think the only way we could reset the field, guys, is we sell it. We reset, sell this field. We're going to let a computer, uh, somebody from the computer to take this over. Someone else is going to buy this field from us. And hopefully they're going to plant something else in here. Once they do, that's when we'll buy it back again. So we'll make a little bit of money off of it for now. But it's just a loan temp temporarily until we buy it back. I do like the size of the field. I like where it's located. So I do want to keep that field. But unfortunately, it's not really working. Now, that being said... Like, what is going on over here? What is this? See, this one's growing too. This is barley. I wonder if something's broken with these types of crops. That they didn't uh, make it to harvest. So there's more than one that that happened to. I hope that that gets reset come the new year. No way to find out until then. So uh, we'll have to wait and see. Alright, so our other road is right across here. I'm going to might as well plow that out on the way back to our farm. We'll get that taken care of as well. Let's drop the blade here. Get across the road, push it off to the right. Nice. Because this is going to be the road we end up taking to get to the BGA once we're ready to sell some of those bales. So this might as well be cleared off as well. And I've got a bunch of stuff to clear off back at the farm, so 
we'll get to work on that as well. Just all snow clearing. We don't have any logging equipment yet. We have no uh, livestock to take care of yet. So really all we can do this winter is snow clearing. Which is going to be quite a bit. There's a lot of it to do. <laughs> so we're looking pretty good actually. I'm kind of piling everything out in the middle here. Just doing some laps, getting a little bit of snow in the middle. It's not as much as uh, last year yet. But uh, looking good. Everything's cleared away from our shop. So we have full access in here now. One of the things I did need to take care of is... Oh, i got to dig that Chev out. She is uh, behind the snow bank, the snow drift that I put there. So let's get that taken care of as well. Now, I'm finding this funny because the blades, they tilt differently. They're different directions depending on which one I'm looking at. That's bizarre. All right, let's see if I can just kind of push this. This way here. Come on. Oh, I didn't get it down low enough. Should be low enough now. Perfect. Oh, right in the back of the, the hitch. I caught that hitch with the blade. <laughs> All right, let's just clear this driveway off. And that should be good enough. I'll just push this over behind the picnic tables. Do another pass through here. And we should be good to go over here. At least have our parking lot open at least. So we can get in and out of the house when we need to. Looks good, looks good, looks good. Nice. Alright. Nice and easy. And we'll just push the snow all the way over to the left again. Nice, there we go. Uh, looks like I've got a little bit I gotta redo here. I didn't quite see this, obviously, but that's easy enough to fix. No problem. Not bad. That should be good enough to at least get our truck in and out of here a few times. I'll just kind of push this one, uh, this snowbank here up at the front out of the way so we don't have to deal with that. There we go. Just get this over to the corner at least. And then we have a nice kind of, uh, at least an area of park if we need to. It's a lot of snow. It's more than you'd think, actually. Now, I could have come down here with some salt, but uh, this seems to be working out just fine. I'm just plowing stuff out of the way, and it's obviously cheaper. All right. Good enough. I'll put the truck back in there. We'll leave this over here for now, but I've got access to the main barns. I don't have access down below yet. We have to worry about that later on, but uh, so far we've been doing quite well with what we've got going. I'm just going to leave this right about here for now. Shut the lights off. Turn that off. Perfect. Um, one last thing, guys. We do need to make our main road accessible. Let's head down to the road. But that is really going to do it for today. That's all we had to do. It's like I said, when you're not dealing with uh, when you're dealing with winter, and you're not logging, and you're not dealing with oh, man, those are some big bumps. Uh, you're not dealing with anything else. There's not a lot to do sometimes. So it's on hurry up and wait mode. We just got to make sure we survive the winter now. Um, we got 162,000. I owe oh, several hundred thousand. I think I'm just shy of 200,000. Getting down far enough? Good. So, really, it's, it's I want to hold on to that cash so that we have money for seed come the spring um, in order to replant our fields. And I would like to buy another field. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm not sure how that's going to work out yet. <laughs> so good. Um, but we, that's, that's a plan. That's kind of the, uh, the long-term plan. I would love to be able to buy another field. But... Right now, that's not really financially in the cards. We'll see. We'll see what happens come the spring. We may be able to sell. Well, we got those, those all those silage bales to sell off this winter, and that's going to give us a pretty good amount of money as well. We should be close to probably three hundred thousand, I would think, if once we sell all those. But we'll see. We shall see. So that is going to do it for today. We're finishing off plowing. Um, yeah, that's all we can do. That's all we have to finish off on. Can't really plant anything. I got to sell that other field. Uh, that's unfortunate. Anyways. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, don't forget to drop a like as always. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so already. And of course, like I said earlier, guys, if you're looking for any of the mods I'm using, I put them on my mod list on the website. So of course, you can check them out there. But uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below as always, of course, as well. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. We will talk with you soon. This is Clutch. Over and out.